Hello, church. This is Drew here, Thursday afternoon, about 2 o'clock. Last Sunday, I shared a glimpse of the 2022 ministry investment plan here at First United Methodist Church of Murfreesboro. Our leaders have been praying and working on this thing since uh, September, really. We're starting to get a sense of God's call on our church family for 2022, and we wanted to make sure that all of you had a chance to hear a few of the highlights. As you know, we won't finalize this until we have received most of your stewardship responses back here in the church office. This year, we're asking you to complete this simple card called My Plan for Giving, Serving, and Praying. You may do this in the paper form here or online. There's a link uh, in the material that you'll get in the mail later this week. This is just an estimate to help us plan better both financially with our prayer work and with all of the different kinds of ministries that need our help right now. Your giving information will be kept in the strictest of confidence. We'd love to have your responses uh, in hand by the end of November or the first week of December. Let's take a look together at what you'll likely receive in the mail in the next few days. The front cover includes a snapshot of that powerful vision God gave us as a church family back in 2019. Over 300 of you helped to form this thing. And uh, you can find it here, God's vision for our church. 2,000 people in worship each week. A thousand disciples of Jesus engaged in missional discipleship. A hopeful church baptizing a hundred new Christians a year. A church leading the community and solving some of society's most significant problems. A church that is alive, vibrant, relevant, and generating life, love, and hope in the name of Jesus. We're two years into this five-year vision and ready for our next steps. As you look inside, you'll discover seven key areas of new investment which will help us get to this vision. We're ready to make significant investments of time and money in our life group ministries, the 24-7 prayer initiative, and in this surprise gift of an online church community which has developed because of the pandemic. We think these are some of our most important areas of investment. At the top left, you'll see one about which I am so excited. I think we are ready for what I call an each one reach one team. I'm looking for 60 or 70 of you to join with me in making covenant to invite one person or family to church each month as we move through 2022 and to make sure they feel welcomed and connected as you do this work. It'll be a lot of fun and we finally have the infrastructure in place to do this work really well. We'll start this in January. This one won't cost a dime, but it will take some real time and some real prayer work. At the top of the other page, you'll see FUMC Cares Night. We're opening our doors to the recovery community here in Murfreesboro. Our missions team and our children's ministry have already collaborated to make sure we're able to offer our incredible child care to those persons who need child care so that they can attend their recovery meetings, such as Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous. We'll be providing the space, the hospitality, and support for these ministries. We think it'll make a positive difference for many families in our community. It's something we can do really well, and it's something we can do right now. It will cost a little bit of money, and then also some time for folks who will serve in this important ministry. The last two on the list are increased investment in our missions and service uh, in this community and around the world. In 2021, we budgeted about $790,000. You may remember seeing this for this really important work. Together with our nurture ministries, that's about 40%, 40% of our budget going to life-changing mission service and tangible care for real people in real dollars and real staff time. We hope to be able to do more in the new year, especially as we continue our support of a number of helping agencies in our community. This is our call. This is who we are. And I am th so thankful to be part of a church with so many disciples in action engaged in real ways in this community and around the world. Finally, we've been investing about the same amount of money in children and youth ministry for the last 10 years. Both groups, by the end of the year, will have completed thorough ministry assessments. Children's ministry did this a few years ago. Youth ministry is finishing theirs now. Both groups will have ministry action plans in place to lead us into the vision that we have named on the front of this document. 
I think it's time to increase our investment in this work with our young people, hopefully by about $100,000. It's time for us to do this as we nurture the next generation of disciples in action. I am so excited to be looking toward a bright future as God dreams for God's dreams for our church family begin to happen. I hope you'll join with me in giving, serving, and praying for the mission of God unfolding in the world through our church family. Let us know how you plan to be part of it. Thank you so very much.